What is very, very key for us is that there's a social area of the um, studios and there's a quiet area of the like studios. So you will see behind you glass doors which, which basically separate the quiet part of the yoga from what is really a social space. We found out early in the creation of our studios, the most social spot ended up being the infrared sauna. Now it makes no sense at all. You know, you might nod at someone or say hi to someone in a classroom. For whatever reason, the minute you walk into an infrared sauna, it was like verbal diarrhea. You just started talking. And I've seen so many people meet and actually talk and, and start to build relationships by actually connecting. And it's all happened in an infrared sauna. So the first thing I wanted to do was to build the biggest infrared sauna we could possibly fit in here. So. I wouldn't recommend going in, it's very, it's, it's probably hot. And it's got someone in it. Sorry. This is, this is not going to be long. Okay. Sorry. So what are the features yeah. in here? The, the, whole, the whole reason behind an infrared sauna is um, it ignites the limb, the lymphatic nervous system, which is actually your immune system. So um, it is, it's a great way to boost your energy, especially if you feel a cold coming on. Um, I travel a lot, um, and whenever I come back from an, from an international trip, one of the first things I do is I go and I sit in an infrared sauna. And it basically, it's a huge detox, and it actually boosts, boosts my immune system. So they're absolutely great for that. Um, I can't go in the women's washroom, but if any of the ladies want to see it, Lara can, can, like, can like take you in. No, you can't go in. So how, well, how long did it take to uh, plan this facility? Um, started 18 months ago. And what were you hoping to do differently here that people might not get in a, in a regular uh, yoga, yoga studio? studio. Um, facilities for one, experience for two, and community. Um, a lot of yoga studios are, mom and, are like mom and pop ventures and um, you know the yogi who's teaching the class is also the one checking, you know, checking you in. So the, ec the, ec the experience is very, very different. And ours was, we wanted to, to create a community center where you didn't just do yoga and then rush out the door. There was actually a reason to stay behind. And what's more challenging, managing vans or managing yoga studios? They're both challenging, but both very rewarding. 